Well, the nice thing with fly tying for pike is that you can always come up with something different, tie something new, tie something stupid, and more than often you find out that a pike will take it uh, when they are in a feeding and eating behavior. When they're aggressive, they might take anything, but that's no excuse to tie bite fl bad flies. I mean, but. The thing is, the nice thing is that you can experiment and uh, push your boundaries and strive for something new. That's what I always like about fly tying for pike is that um, if I find a fly that walks, I usually discard it and try to find something else. Uh, I kind of get a kick of uh, coming with new flies, a new pattern that, that walk and where I catch fish. And um, for me, fooling a fish with something that I tie is good fun. And uh, especially if I really come up with something different and something that um, I haven't seen out there yet and that hasn't been presented to the to the fish before. So as a guide, I guide people not only with for fly fishing, but with lure fishing. And I, I always had a, a close contact with lure, lure fishing. Um, so I kind of know what type of lures works and uh, the vibration, the the belly rolls, whatever, kind of trigger bites for pike. So I like to kind of take that and bring it to my fly tying. Um, so I had a few flies kind of inspired by some lures. So one of the latest one, this one, definitely is like 100% uh, a copy of the musky fly, uh, musky lure, sorry. Uh, we don't really see them here in Europe, but I know in America the Medusa is a very popular lure. And uh, I really like the, the fact that it has that really flat belly, uh, which helps it to hang a little bit more in the water and you get that nice planed roll. And fish seems to really love that. I don't think the triple tail is a huge, will make a huge change compared to a double tail. I think it's more that flat uh, bottom that, that, that helps that lure. And same for this thigh. So, um, this is what I came up with, and um, yeah, first to explain to you, I know you like you guys like the the short condensed video fast forward, so that's why I decided to do these fly teasers before I bring on a new fly video, so I can bore you now and not with the fly tying, because I know people just believe now everything has to be condensed and fast, and um, so I can do these videos now to bore you and explain to you the details of the fly that you might not see in the tying video. So for this one, let's see if it focus. Yeah, perfect. For this one, as you see, it has that pronounced flat and wide base. I have tied a dumbbell on the knit just to balance it properly. So the way that I have this created this flat surface and it does stay flat it's just tied v-style a bit like a tarpon toad um, and then at the top a more of a bushy type of uh, filler type of tying with the congo congo hair i put a little bit of foam as well so this fly actually rise the surface uh, it floats just barely um, and I fish it with a sink line so you can have many variation with this all you need to do is put less foam if you want you put no foam if you want that to sink uh, but at the moment uh, I think uh, this is a good pattern and um, fish it like a bit like a, a booby for, for trout on the sink line maybe a sink tree at the moment will bring that fly just down a little bit and pause this rise back up slowly so i went for the double tail double dragon tail and uh, i 
think this one is a partridge hook. I'll have to see. I'll put all the details of the of the material used in the next video. But that's basically yeah, my copy of the Medusa. So really fun to fly to tie. It works pretty well. Another thing, the way I kept that flat belly from uh, changing shape, I added some UV resin uh, and um, it's kind of a hard at the bottom so it makes it a little bit more resilient but the fiber on the outside are not, there's no resin on it so you get a little bit of supple. It's not like all hard but the bottom where it's tied it's definitely UV resin and it helps just to keep that shape tie this version um, I think I have yeah I have as well the bigger version so this is same thing just articulated with the butt with a little bit of uh, belly hair and body tubing on a small shank I put two XL dragon tail at the back foam at the top so the hardest thing with this is just to to judge the amount of foam that you're going to put on uh, on the small one that's a, a two millimeter foam uh, the good thing with foam is that you can always cut it uh, take one off if you want and you'll find the, the perfect balance for your fly so yeah I'll try to come up with the tank video uh, within a week or so so we keep that format of a little fly teaser as I call it just before the tying video so you can understand a little bit more where the fly came from and uh, if there's any detail in the tie that's it I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the tying video thanks for watching see you guys